It is our e time with Mr. Thomas. Okay, year nine. Uh, next lesson in this unit of work, uh, which is in fact the last lesson in this unit of work for now, uh, is focused on weapons of mass destruction. So uh, please get your title down and today's date, which won't be the one that you can see on the screen. Um, and then pause this video, go straight back to show my homework, please, and click on the second link uh, that you see there um, to watch the video about the Hiroshima bombing. Okay, um, it's a BBC video that shows you what happened when um, the US bombed Japan in 1945. So have a watch of that please and then come back here and just answer these three questions, the green one, the orange one, the red one, uh, in a short sentence, one sentence per question. Okay, so what was the most shocking image that you saw? How do you think it must have felt to be the American airmen in the plane who dropped the bomb? And finally, if you knew what a nuclear bomb did to a, to a city, could you drop one? Okay, just answer those three questions with one sentence each. Okay, objectives for today. As it said on the first slide, uh, we're going to be looking at weapons of mass destruction, which is often abbreviated to WMDs. So everyone must think about how it might feel to use WMDs in war uh, that you've started doing already through that start of video. Most of you should be able to find key information in a research task. You can have questions to answer. And some people could also work out the meaning of key phrases that summarize arguments about nuclear weapons. That will come later in the lesson. Okay, a few key terms to make notes on here. So first of all, weapons of mass destruction themselves. These are weapons that can kill large numbers of people or cause great damage to the environment or to buildings, uh, to all sorts of things. And there are three different types, okay? Um, the way I remember these is uh, through the three different sciences, the three areas of science, chemistry, matches with chemical weapons, obviously, Biology matches with biological weapons uh, and physics in which you study things like atoms goes with nuclear weapons which split the atom to work. So please jot those three phrases down and their definitions uh, and I'll read them out. Nuclear weapons are weapons that work by a nuclear reaction. Uh, you saw the evidence of that in that first video again. They devastate huge areas and kill large numbers of people uh, and they cause damage for many many years after uh, the actual use. Chemical weapons are weapons that use chemicals to poison or burn or paralyze humans and destroy the natural environment. So some examples of that uh, were the chlorine gas that was used in World War I um, or the Cyclone B uh, gas that was used in Nazi concentration camps. Both of those were chemical weapons. Thirdly, biological weapons, weapons that have living organisms or infective material that can lead to disease or death. So bacteria basically being used as a weapon. Um, in World War I, again, anthrax, which is an infection that affects the skin and lungs with blisters, uh, was used very nasty, um, very nasty weapon. Uh, now, chemical and biological weapons were both outlawed around the world in 1925, so shortly after uh, World War I, but there has still been research and development of, of those weapons, of various weapons within those categories by certain countries, including the UK, and they have also been used by terrorists, okay, even in recent years. Okay, on these slides, we're going to have a look at uh, some religious teachings from holy books that uh, could link to the use of WMDs. Now, we need to make it clear that um, when the Quran, the Bible, the Jewish holy books, the Hindu holy books were written, none of these weapons had been invented. Um, okay, uh, they were using swords, they were using arrows, they were not using weapons of mass destruction or missiles that you can fire from miles and miles and miles away. Um, it just wasn't in their thinking. But killing was. Okay, uh, there had been killing. And so we have uh, verses about killing in the Quran here. Um, Whoever kills an innocent person, it's as if he had killed uh, all of humanity. And a similar themed one from the Bible, from the early part of the Bible, you shall not murder. 
Exodus 2013. Uh, those are, for many people, fairly clear instructions that killing uh, in the eyes of God is wrong, simply wrong, uh, and shouldn't be done. Okay, here are two other verses from the same holy books, in fact, uh, in the, from the Bible, from the same book of the Bible, uh, that some people might say could be used to justify the use of WMDs. It would be difficult, but they might. Uh, so, the one from the Quran, fight in God's cause against those who fight you, but do not overstep the limits. God does not love those who overstep the limits. And then from the Bible, Exodus, if there is a serious injury, you are to take life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. Right, I'd like to have a think about these here, uh, and I'd like you to copy down one quote from a holy book that is clearly against the use of WMDs, uh, and one that maybe could be argued in favour. Make sure you note down the source or the religion that it comes from that it applies to. And if you can work out uh, how it could be argued to be in favour of WMDs, write that explanation as well in your own words. All right, this now is your main information gathering research task about nuclear weapons and WMDs. Um, and on the next slide, there are four sets of questions and attached to Show My Homework are four information sheets. The titles of the information sheets on Show My Homework should make it clear which questions they go with. Now, I need everybody, please, to start with the questions called, that are called religious views. Start with that section first and make sure you answer in a way that will be useful later. If you start your answer with because in your book, it won't be clear what that question was about when you come back to it to revise from it. OK, so please, please, please answer with a part of the question or copy the question out and write it, write down your answer. OK. Um, then, when you've done the Religious Views section, I'd like you to choose any other two sections to complete in the same way. OK, you'll see there are three uh, when you've done that one, but you can choose two. OK, uh, and use the information sheets on Show My Homework to help you do that. OK, so here are those four sets of questions. And bottom right is the one you want to start with, please, the Religious Views. Uh, section and then you can choose any other two. So pause the video here, go back to show my homework and open the information sheets so that you can find what you need. Okay, here's your final task, your summary task, uh, and I'd like everyone please to have a go at the green task there, get someone in your house to test you on the keywords. So go back to those, have a quick look at them and then take them to someone in your home to test you on whether you know them or not. Then make a choice please between orange and red here okay the phrase nuclear deterrent actually hasn't been in the lesson today but i'd like you to look it up it's a very important phrase to learn see if you can find out what it means if you need to use a dictionary the word deter as a verb to deter uh, you should be able to find that um, if you're using an online dictionary that'll be there um, okay it should be nice and clear what nuclear deterrent means if you look it up online um, and then the red question, you could write an answer to that uh, if you choose that. Why might having nuclear weapons and never using them be better than not having them? OK, think about that carefully and try and work out uh, what your answer is. Why might having them but not using them be better than having them, than not having them, sorry. Uh, OK, so please submit your answer to that and your answers to the questions from the research task to your teacher so they can see you've done that work um, and then you are done with this lesson. Thanks very much. Bye.